counties are warning our communities to be aware of any new symptoms. All of this after many of us had to seek shelter with others during last week's disastrous winter weather. 25 News reporter Aaron Heft joins us live from McLennan County Health District on what we're facing. Aaron. Good morning, Lindsay. Health districts want us to be aware that any time we're in close contact with others like many were last week and some continue to be this week, our risk of COVID increases. Monitoring daily case counts, the McLennan County Health District kindly reminds us gatherings of any kind render spikes in coronavirus. There's always a risk when people get together that we'll see a spike. That's something that we just monitor on a daily basis. Thousands across our area forced into situations we'd normally not find ourselves at warming centers, neighbors' homes, shelters, and inviting people into our own home in the name of safety. Many in our region still displaced because of water shortages, damage to structures, and electrical outages. Yet another thing we need to be aware of is COVID. That's always a potential issue. It's something that we monitor every day. And people should be aware if you are in close, co you know, in close contact with others, there is a risk. Our state's effort to protect one another from the conditions of last week had inherent risk. Health districts ask we stay vigilant in our awareness of how we feel. There is no average type of symptom onset. Um, it, it just starts out like any kind of uh, cold or flu symptoms. That coupled with other odd initial symptoms like loss of taste, smell, stomach ache. Medical professionals say COVID symptoms prove elusive in many. Health professionals across our state say if we feel different or unwell in any way during this time, they'd like us to assume it's COVID and get tested. We encourage you to go ahead and get tested, particularly now as we are in COVID and we've gone through experiences like this. Um, you can go ahead and get tested just for just to be sure. Free COVID testing sites having been closed due to our electrical and water shortages, many are beginning to or have reopened. Free COVID testing sites across McLennan County will be reopening this morning to test our county. Reporting live in Waco, Aaron Heft, 25 News. Aaron, thank you.